Hello and welcome back to another beer review. And in this beer review, we are off to Scotland. We're off to Brewdog. So the beer we have, uh, where did I put it? Oh, see ya. <laughs> see what I did there, boys and girls. <laughs> we have Lost Lager. <laughs> we get Brewdog's Lost Lager. Now, I'm not sure if I've had this or reviewed this before um, because when they first released the lager, they released a lager called This Is Lager. Then they released a lager which was, um, trying to think what it was called, Kingpin. And they discontinued Kingpin, I think about a year ago, and they released this one under the banner Lost Lager. Now, um, I'm not sure if this is just a brand new lager or, you know, or is it just a rebranded beer, which, let's face it, is very, very annoying, especially to people like me who review beers. You, you know, these brewers release them under different names, uh, not necessarily different recipes, and, you know, I just find it really, really annoying. <laughs> So there you go. So I might have done this. I might not have done this. So I'm going to approach this review uh, on a, as a clean sheet. I'm going to approach this review with the attitude that I've never had this beer before. So, end of the rant. So the beer is Lost Lager and it is a dry hot Pilsner. 4.7% ABV. It's got a, kind of like a big unicorn on it. Um, so I shall read to you what it says. 660 mil bottle. Um, unicorns are the national animal of Scotland, our homeland. They are also the inspiration behind our audacious approach to alternative altruism, dubbed the Unicorn Fund. We brewed this beer to celebrate the impact the Unicorn Fund has on the world around us. Lost Lager takes back the ground lost over decades by lager monoliths. Lost Lager is a dry hop pills and made with classic German sapphire hops. Um, giving vibrant citrus and stone fruit notes built from Bavarian yeast. It's as crisp, clean taste. This is a lager like it was, like it should be, and like it will be. Lost lager, lager is backed. Lager is back, should I say. Um, now it's got all the usual boo dog spiel about being un un uncompromising, bold, and irreverent beer and all that. Um, it says, ditch the mainstream and say hello to boo dogs. So. Is Brewdog these days mainstream? I think, you know, it's so popular and so big that you got to say that most probably it is mainstream now. So let's crack this open. Bit of smoke. There is Brewdog Crown. Let's see what we get. Nice little gentle malty note. A little tinge of citrus there. It's quite mellow in taste, mellow in taste, mellow in smell, to be honest. It smells okay, though. It smells very pleasant for a lager. So let's pour out, like we do. And she's going to come out very pale looking. Loads of carbonation running up. Very, very lively. Straw colour. Very clear looking lager. Big frothy white head there. As you can see, loads of business going on inside the glass. Very clear. And again, a slight hint of citrus about it. Gentle maltness there. It smells quite pleasant, so I'm going to go in. So cheers. The whole mouth feels very light. Feels like a very light beer. Um, the actual body's light of the, you know, the actual body of the beer is light. Loads of carbonate, carbonation going on in the mouth feel. Um, then you get a slight hint of, a slight hint of citrus, slight hint of bitterness with the malt. Um, it's quite refreshing, and I have to say, yeah, 
<laughs> it's okay. It's for 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 a lager. Um, I'm not the world's biggest lager fan, to be honest, but for a lager, I have to say, it's quite enjoyable. It's very easy drinking. Very easy drinking. You just just go like knock it back and knock it back and knock it back. Now I do pick up a bit of stone fruit, some sort of stone fruit. It says in the description it's there. Um, easy drinking. Um, yeah, and yeah, it does what it says on the label really. It's a dry hot pilsner, very nice. Um, I'd definitely drink it again. Um, so there you go, boys and girls. Brewdogs Lost Lager, if you find it. <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> On that score, thank you very much for watching this one. See you on my next one.